Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha Kudash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. The honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. This is from uh, Fox News, okay, updated 12 hours ago, published a day ago. And uh, as you can see, all right, New York legislation can make potion or get in the potion mandatory, okay? And uh, I did a video on this um, maybe a day or two ago, but um, as we read on, their their uh, reasoning or justification for this is here. A New York lawmaker has proposed mandating the, uh, you know, basically the Crown Royale, uh, if not enough residents voluntarily get the shot once it's available. Okay, so if if they see that not a lot of people are uh, willing to go take it, even with all these uh, different um, uh, uh, encouragement tactics, all right, that they uh, propose to use, well then they'll just mandate it. Okay, it says Assembly Member Linda Rosen uh, Rosenthal, all right, um, or Rosenthal, who represents parts of Manhattan's West Side earlier this month, introduced a bill. That would require the state, the state to state to safely and effectively distribute the FDA-approved um, potion, in accordance with the Department, all right, of Health's um, CVV administration program, according to the language of the legislation. Okay, uh, it says so because you know once a part of Operation Warp Speed is for them to get these these uh. uh you know what I mean, these potions, all right, from, you know, approval, upon approval of the FDA there to get it, okay, to these different states and these different locations within 24 hours. That's what the guy was saying. So that way, these states, these, uh, states can have their plan and how they're going to uh, um, administer, all right, this, uh, this potion to everybody. So it says, while steps have been taken to reduce the spread all right, of, of uh, C-19, epidemiologists and public health experts have concluded that a V, all right, or a vaccine will be necessary to develop herd immunity and ultimately stop the spread of the virus or the disease. The bill support memo states the state must make efforts to promote getting the, getting, getting the stuff and ensure that a high enough percentage of the population has the potion against CVV. It says to develop sufficient immunity. So it's reliant, in order for this to work, it's reliant on the mass, the majority, all right, of the population getting, you know what I mean, this thing. You can't just say, so that's why they're pushing for it, because then they're, they're going with the narrative that you can't just say, well, um, I don't care. And if you're so scared, you go take it and you're, you'll be good, right? They're saying in order for it to work, every, uh, a certain amount of people need to take it. Okay, so basically, like like how they were, you know, saying every vote counts. You know, now they're saying every basically every every shot counts. It says De Blasio um, said that this thing is supposed to arrive in New York around December fifteenth. Okay, so that's about what five days from now, say the uh, the tenth. Yeah. All right. So once the the potion program has been rolled out for a while, the Department of Health would have the authority to mandate, all right, there it is, to mandate it to anyone who can safely receive it, all right, if public health officials see that New Yorkers aren't developing sufficient immunity, all right, from the Crown Royale, because they're, they're, they're saying, look, we're not going to, you know what I'm saying, we're not going to risk the population all right, suffering from this, all right, with all these people dying, we're not going to risk them suffering from this just because of a few couple people, all right, or, or a, a certain percent of the population is saying that they, they don't feel like it, they don't want to, so on and so forth, all right. Now, how they're going to do this, okay, how they're going to mandate it, we have to see how exactly they're going to do it. 
You know, is it going to be it's required for you to do certain things or, you know, what I'm saying like how are they going to make sure that everybody has it if they go with this route? All right, because it's not law yet. It's a bill. It says the bill doesn't define sufficient immunity. So presumably public health officials would have to set that benchmark once again, leaving the power in their hands. Rosenthal told Fox 5 uh, New York. That if less than 70% of the population voluntarily gets, you know, the potion, then the mandate should take effect. Okay? So that's, that's, of all, everybody in New York, okay, if less than 70% don't want to willingly go take this thing, they're going to they gonna mandate it. Alright? It says, then the State Department of Health would have the ability to say that more people have to get it. Rosenthal said in an interview, and they would set the rules and they would set the structure. And at this time, experts don't know what percentage of the population would need to take the potion in order to achieve so-called herd immunity to the Crown Royale, according to the CDC. It says herd immunity is a term used to describe when people, when enough people have protection either from previous infection or potion. That is unlikely a virus or bacteria, um, that it is unlikely a virus or bacteria can spread and cause disease, the CDC states. As a result, everyone within the community is protected, even if some people don't have any protection themselves. So once you have an, a large enough uh, a, a population or percentage of the people that have it, then you don't have to really worry about it. But the key goal, as they're saying, is to get that large percent of the population to get it, okay? Rosenthal's bill would allow someone to be medically exempt from mandatory uh, potioning <laughs> or getting it, all right, if they get a letter from a licensed medical professional. Now, they would need to set certain regulations in place for that so people don't end up bribing or forging, you know what I'm saying, or faking it. Assembly bill... Uh, A-111-79, as it's designated, is sitting in committee according to the assembly Assembly's bill tracker. Um, okay, it's moving a little slow right now. Okay, hold on. So it says, uh, pharma companies AstraZeneca, Pfizer, and Moderna have developed a potion, um, have developed potion candidates that perform very well in phase three clinical trials. AstraZeneca reported that its potion is safe and about 70% effective. According to studies, and, and, and uh, in the UK, I believe it's there, they're saying that you're not really going to get a choice in which one you want to take, you know, because right now it's, it's not, you know, easy access to everybody over, you know what I'm saying, we have surplus, you know, so you get what you get and you don't get upset. It says the United Kingdom has already approved Pfizer's uh, potion for emergency use. Governor Andrew Cuomo said the first batch of doses of Pfizer's uh, potion will go to nursing homes for residents and staff next week. Then a batch of potion doses from Moderna will arrive soon after. So we're going to see, you know, because right now he hasn't really uh, stated, all right, his stance on mandating it or not. And I'm pretty sure he's probably waiting to see the initial, you know, reaction how you know how it goes when they when they bring this potion out how the population especially in new york react to it are people going to go and take it are they not you know and based on that they will decide whether to mandate it or not okay but nonetheless we know eventually where this is going to lead to okay so now i'm gonna get a, a few precepts real quick this is micah chapter 2 verse 1 it says woe unto them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands. So everything we see going on, all right, in the whole world, all right, everything that's happening is all a part of the iniquity that's been devised, all right, by these these elites, all right, these Rothschilds, these Rockefellers, these rich banking families, which is not only just the Rothschilds and is not only just the the the, uh, uh, the banking families, because the Illuminati consists of a whole conglomerate of different sectors of so of uh, secret societies you know you have the 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 jason society all right the uh um the knights of i forgot what what that's called all right 
you have the the uh, uh the Jesuits, you have all these different, you know, the black pope, you know, all these different uh uh, uh secret societies that come together, okay, to try and achieve that one goal. So it's not just the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers, they're 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 a big part of it, okay, at the top of it, but it's a whole system, it's a whole body structure that's that's uh, uh hidden. All right, but they devise these things when they have their Bilderberg meetings and so on and so forth, all right, their different forums and so on and so forth. And when when they when they pass it, okay, they give these orders and they get passed into laws and then they're able to have these things become practical. They're able to have these things happen and affect your actual life because they have the power to do so because it's been given to them pursuant to Job chapter 9, verse 24. Okay, so all everything we see going on uh, leading into Revelation 2 and 10, them casting some of us into prison. Revelation 2, uh, 12 and 12, them coming down with great wrath. All right. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right. <clears throat> all that really is ultimately a, a, a prophecy. Okay. But they can do that because the Lord has given them the ability to do so to fulfill prophecy. All right. So them bringing these potions and so on and so forth which is going to make life hard for those that are not uh, with it, those that don't want to take it. But that's why you got to have faith and trust in the Lord. All right, now this is the book of Psalms, chapter 4. I'll start at 3 and jump down. Um, it says, Psalms 4 and 3, But know that the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, hath set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Okay, so we don't have to worry. Because we know that when the time comes, it tells you in Proverbs 18 and 10, that the name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous runneth into it and is safe. So we know we, we have a, a covering, a hedge, a protection that is not artificial. All right, now jump down, uh, verse 8, it says, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell uh, in safety. So we're not losing sleep. We're not panicking, saying, damn, the time is coming when we know we know that the time is coming. All right. But we also know that the Lord said he would deliver us from the same. So, hey, let it come to pass, because it must needs be. If not, we cannot. You know, what I'm saying as the angel told Ezra, the, the, the seed, the evil seed has been sown. All right. And unless the, uh, 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 the, the punishment or the reaping of that evil comes, then cannot the good come. You know, the, 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 the is a cause and effect. Okay, and the first cause was the evil seed being sown. So that effect needs to come to pass before the effect of the good cause, which is us doing this work and us laboring, all right, can come to pass. And that effect is the kingdom. All right, so we first got to go through this. And the sooner it comes, the sooner we can get past it and the sooner we can get into the kingdom. All right, so we're not praying that this thing doesn't happen. We're just praying that the Lord delivers us from it okay because it's gonna get very very bad all right <clears throat> but anyway with that you know just a quick update <laughs> um you know just you know you see what's going on you see the times that we're in and it's, it's drawing closer and closer you know we say it and we say it and we say it but time moves okay and prophecy moves with time so it's not gonna it's not gonna stay in the, in the far distance for a long time it's just getting closer and closer all right and we are rapidly approaching that time of jacob's trouble so with that, I hope you were edified and informed. In closing, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Kudash. Until next time, Shalom.